What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Cyber Healer channel. And in today's video, I've decided to do the top 5 worst maps in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, each game has maps, really, that you play on. That's pretty obvious to a player or anyone who's really ever seen a game. But some maps are better than others. And to, in today's video, we're going to highlight the maps that didn't come out so good. And before we start into this, I just want to say, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I make videos pretty often, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with Siege and all the news that's going on and videos like this to help you improve. And most people just got done celebrating Christmas and you got some money from relatives and stuff, go down below and there's Amazon links to gaming gear that you might want to pick up. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start off this video with an honorable mention. This map you cannot currently play as a PvP map right now, but it is going to be Bartlett University. Bartlett University, if you didn't know, is a PvP, PvE map that was brought into PvP despite the developers saying it wasn't ready. But there was a massive push from the fans to, you know, make it a PvP map because they wanted to play on it. But then everyone got mad because, well, it wasn't a great map, even though the developers said, hey, it's actually not ready for it. But that's kind of the story with Bartley Universe. You can still play it if you want to queue for um, the training grounds. Not training grounds, but like custom. Go over to like right underneath the training grounds. There's like training or whatever. And if you go down to Article 5, you could actually play that map. Except you probably have to wait 16 hours for anyone to actually join that queue. But if you wanted to play it and you wanted to wait, you can. And without further ado, I'm going to actually get into this real list. Alright, so starting off our list, we're going to have Hereford Base. This map had a rework because the map was bad. But when the rework is worse than the actual map, you want the old map back. But we can't get the old map back. That's just how bad Hereford is. It is terrible to fend upstairs. Everything feels very compact and tight. Everything almost looks the same, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. It's very hard to navigate. Call-ups are very hard to maintain because no one ever plays on the map, so you don't really know what to do. And it just can make it very, very unsettling to play on. Next up on this list, we have Favilla. I swear to God, really, when they, um, they're citing Villa, let's make a map that can be blown up completely, make everything destructible. They're sitting in the boardroom like, Billy, that is the greatest freaking idea I've ever heard. And they went from there. That, that, that's basically what they did with Vill for Villa. Like, honestly, like, why is this thing in the game? It is so bad. It looks, everything looks the same. You never have enough reinforcements to actually reinforce an entire room because everything's destructible. And it, despite the fact that it's an unranked, or quick match, I should say, which means no one reinforces, it, it just uh, it makes everything so, so hard to play on that map. And I hate getting it every single time. Next up, we have Tower. Do I really need to say much about Tower? No vertical play. The weirdest angles for attackers. Very hard to defend. Has one center spot where the attackers can drop through so you can funnel everything. It, it's not a good map. Honestly, I wish they would rework it to, like, be just something completely different. Like, I don't care if they just, like, erased it all and just put, like, field. I think a field would be better than playing on tower. When you play on tower, you honestly just want to AFK and leave the game. There's no point in playing on tower. Even if you win on tower, you lose. That's how bad the map is. Alright, so next on this list is probably the best but kind of worst map on this list. It's going to be Fortress. Now on the outside, Fortress is fine. But playing on it is just such a hassle. Try telling your teammate that they're on white stairs when all the stairs are white everything looks the same like everything looks the same you if i say he's in right room my teammate will go into right room but there's like three right rooms and they all look the same 
and there's very little like roof entrances, so you're not you're gonna have a hard time with that. It's so big too, like it's very hard to navigate. It's very mazy, and again, not very fun to play on. And if I'm gonna dedicate my time to this game, I want a map that's fun to play on. Fortress is just that map where like if you get it, it's not the end of the world, but it is so frustrating to play on that. Honestly, if you have the right freaking skin equipped, like the, I think they're called the Parabellum skins, I think, or something like that. I don't know, the ones that kind of look like the desert, or maybe the White Noise skins. They are, you're invisible on that map. They're not going to be able to see you. And I know the current Neon Dawn skins are very hard to see on that map. But they're working on fixing that anyway, but that's just so annoying if you get killed with someone using, like, a certain skin. Like, come on. Just take Fortress out of the game. Last up on this list, Outback. There's a reason he got removed from rank with the new Skyscraper update. It, it's just... It's so confusing to navigate. It's like playing in a maze. It's a maze. You can't find your way around the map because there's two sections of the map and it's very hard to get to one side to the other. And honestly, I think they just tried to implement Clubhouse, but worse. Like That's what I see in Outback. And they failed so bad. I mean, come on. You made an Australian map. You could have made that super cool. I don't know, just make us ride kangaroos into battle. But no, we get the worst map possibly in Siege. Yumi, please rework out back. And that, with that, guys, that's all I have for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and peace.